player can only sound as good as their instrument allows them to sound, and that's especially true for percussion. Today I want to talk about the gear and instruments I used when I recorded the snare drum volume to the repertoire. The smallest drum you'll see me play is the original prototype for my signature snare drum. This is the final version. It's a 4x14 inch snare drum with a nice sharp 45 degree bearing edge to give you great sensitivity at the piano dynamic. But it still has plenty of dynamic range all the way up to forte and fortissimo. It's also one of the first snare drums to use Grover's iTap technology. It has the individual snare adjustments and master adjustments we're used to on the snare side, but on the playing side, what's new is it has a vertical tension adjustment, where you can adjust the vertical tension of the snares on the bottom head. This gives you an unprecedented amount of control of the snare response at the soft dynamic level. The middle snare drum I'm using is a 5-inch G3 Grover snare drum. It's very similar to my snare drum, only it has a little bit more of a rounded bearing edge. This gives the drum a warmer sound at the mid to high dynamic range. If you're only going to bring two snare drums to the audition, this is perfectly acceptable for all those loud snare drum excerpts. The largest snare drum I'm using is a vintage Septembre drum made for Robinson percussion by the old Kansas City Drum Works. This drum has a really thick shell with reinforcement rings around the top and the bottom. It's also one of the very first drums to have three strainers on it to control each individual snare. Neil Grover was involved in its original conception. The three snares I'm using are a curly wire, a straight wire, and some gut. The gut makes a huge difference at the loud dynamic and makes the drum sound really mean. I'm using Evans drum heads on all of my snare drums. On the top, I'm using their Evans coated orchestral. On the four and the five, I'm using the Evans 200 snare side heads. And on the six and a half, I'm using the Evans 300 snare side head. On the four inch and the five inch, I'm tuning the top head to right around a B natural. This is gonna give me great response and sensitivity to those really quick rhythms. I'm tuning the bottom heads just a tad bit higher than that. I tune the six and a half inch drum slightly lower, somewhere between an A and a B flat. I do this for several reasons. I don't want the loud dynamic to be too high and bright. I want my loud to be warm. The other reason I tune this drum a little bit lower is I like to use it for Bartok's Concerto for Orchestra. If we tune it too high, it ends up sounding like a timbale. And for Bartok's Concerto for Orchestra, we want it to sound like a drum and have some depth to it. I use two pairs of sticks for this recording. I used my signature snare drum sticks with Malatek. I used those for the softest dynamic range to somewhere in the mid range. And then I switch to Tony Cerrone sticks, which I've had for years, for that mid-range to loud dynamic. Those options are great for the audition, but sometimes in the orchestra I want to go one step louder. For that, I'll use Mike Burritt snare drum sticks for the absolute loudest dynamic. In addition to the musical interpretation we have for these excerpts, the instruments we select help define our sound and give us our personality. Percussionists have developed a reputation for being gearheads, and with very good reason. So much of our sound is determined by the instruments we select. The sticks, heads, and drums that I've used on these recordings have helped me craft my sound and are a dream to play.